August 27, 1883. The world was about to witness an explosion unlike anything seen or heard before. Deep in the Sunda Strait, between the islands of Java and Sumatra, the volcano Krakato awakened with unimaginable fury. For months, the earth had rumbled. Steam and ash spewed from the island's craters, warning of the devastation to come. But nothing could prepare the world for what was about to unfold. At 10.02 a.m., Krakato detonated. The force of the explosion was so immense, it was heard over 3,000 miles away, a sound so loud it ruptured eardrums of sailors 40 miles from the blast. In fact, it remains the loudest sound ever recorded in human history. A column of fire and ash rose 50 miles into the sky, turning day into night. For thousands of miles, the sun disappeared behind a thick veil of volcanic dust. The sky, once blue, was now stained red, ash and sulfur spreading across the stratosphere, cooling the planet. But the explosion itself was only the beginning. Tsunamis, over 100 feet high, raced across the ocean, slamming into coastlines with the force of a thousand storms. Entire villages were swallowed whole. Over 36,000 people perished, their lives swept away in an instant. When the smoke cleared, the island of Krakato was gone, obliterated, leaving behind nothing but a vast, empty crater beneath the waves. The very shape of the ocean floor had been changed forever. But nature never rests. Decades later, from the watery grave of Krakato, a new volcano began to rise, Anak Krakato, child of Krakato, a living testament to the relentless, untamed power of the Earth. And if history has taught us anything, it's that someday, Krakato may rise again.